so we were discussing about the simple flow control methods so i told you that what is the total time in case of simple flow control method the total time is transmission time of data plus 2 into propagation time plus 2 into propagation time now let us discuss about what is the efficiency of simple flow control method efficiency of simple flow control method efficiency is always the useful time it is always the useful time upon the total time efficiency is always the useful time upon the total time useful time means for in this complete communication what is a useful time useful time is the only time where the sender was busy in sending the data or transmitting the data right so the total time the efficiency is only this time there is transmission time of data only for this time the sender was busy in transmitting the data because only this time we were effectively utilizing the sender and the receiver okay and upon total time is transmission time of data plus 2 into propagation time so i am not going to write transmission time of data next time so i can call it as tt upon tt plus 2 into tp tt upon tt plus 2 into tp okay and the next definition is the throughput next definition is the throughput what is the throughput throughput can also be termed as the effective bandwidth the throughput is or can also be termed as or sorry uh, throughput can also be termed as the bandwidth utilization it can also be termed as bandwidth utilization or make it as uh, we can also call it as effective bandwidth effective bandwidth so what is the effective bandwidth it is efficiency multiplied by bandwidth efficiency multiplied by bandwidth so we just putting the values what is efficiency efficiency is tt upon tt plus 2 into tp into bandwidth let let us change the values you know what is transmission time transmission time can also be written as length upon bandwidth upon tt plus 2 into tp into bandwidth now this bandwidth and this bandwidth is cancelled or you can say the throughput is length of the data packet upon tt plus 2 into ttp length of the data packet upon tt plus 2 into tp this is throughput further you can use the values to uh, for, uh, generate any kind of relation out of this so this is called as effective bandwidth or throughput and the next terminology is which is important in this case is the uh, ping command or you can say the uh, round trip down time the round trip time so round trip time is generally measured as the time taken for one packet to travel from the sender to the receiver generally if you do for example in case of windows we do ping Uh, for example 192.168.1.1 dash t so this command is a ping command which measures the round trip time between you uh, your host and your particular router you can also do the command like this ping www.google.com slash t or you can say www.google.com that command is going to measure what is the round trip time that what is the time taken by one packet to travel from your system from your host to the google server and again from google server to your system you can do it on your system even if you are uh, windows mac or linux i think this command will work in all those cases uh, this is a ping command you can also do it like this ping www.google.com dash 1500 Dash fifteen hundred, where fifteen hundred we are specifying the size of the data packet. Here fifteen hundred means we are going to send a data packet which is of fifteen hundred bytes. You can try it on your system. So it is going to measure the round trip time. So what is round trip time? Round trip time is basically two into propagation time if the transmission time of the data packet is very small. Round trip time is two into propagation time if the round trip time of the data packet is very small. Generally, we assume the round trip time only two into propagation time. We will not take the transmission time when we have the round trip time. So I am going to assume the round trip time as RTT. Round trip time as RTT. Therefore, so when we discuss about the total time, then total time now becomes transmission time of data plus 
run trip time and when we discuss about efficiency then efficiency is tt upon tt plus rtt tt upon tt plus rtt that is round trip time okay now let us uh, take one or two very simple numericals on this uh, simple stop and wait protocol or you can say simple flow control protocol okay